Paget, the skills we need to be practicing around here, Scott, is uh, stay, staying out of the heat. It's, it's heating up. Yeah, I would do that in a heartbeat, though. That looked like so much fun. Oh. So, note to self, Ken, got to take a trip over there when we can. <laughs> yeah, when we you can. You know, we're going to be walking that line. Yeah, we're going to be walking that line of the heat as we go through the next few days. Uh, we have a heat advisor that goes into effect tomorrow. More on that in a second. But as you take a look right now from our Dallas Sky Cam, 93 degrees. We have mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies, feeling like 98. You can see on the satellite and radar that we do have a bit more cloud cover down in our southeast counties, and that's helping us out as far as our temperatures are concerned. But I want to look out to the west. We have a dry line that's out there. Some storms have developed north of Abilene, and I'm going to keep my eyes on those, on those going into our early evening hours. There's the potential they could drift their way into our southwest counties going into our early evening hours. We're at 92 right now at a DFW with partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. The dew point's at 73. It feels like 101. It's going to feel even hotter going into tomorrow. And look at the winds as well. Out of the south at 24, gusting up to 36. It's been a breezy to windy day, and that south wind continues to pump up that moisture here into the Metroplex. So we feel like 99 to 101 across parts of the Metroplex, and the same story across North Texas right now. It feels like 98 in Corsicana to 100 in Bonham to 103 in at Mineral Wells. So going into the evening hours, we're going to see that wind continue. Those south winds near 20 to 25 miles per hour holding on, maybe tapering off a bit going into the late evening hours. But you notice between 8 to 10, maybe a chance of some isolated showers and storms, mainly west and southwest. Let's look at that on the future sky forecast. You can see that activity initializing pretty well on this forecast model. So then by about 7 o'clock, possibly moving into the west sides of North Texas, and then our southwest sides, southwest counties, we might see that rain start to just dissipate and those storms really fizzle on out. So it's not a big drink of water for us here in North Texas. So we talked about a heat advisory going into effect at noon tomorrow, remaining in effect for, uh, for tomorrow afternoon and then all the way until 7 p.m. on Wednesday. So hour by hour tomorrow, we start out at 79. It's a warm start. That feels like temperature is going to be up to 105 by about 5 in the afternoon, 96 to 97 for the high tomorrow. Let's look at that again with our future sky forecast. Here are the feels like temperatures, 102 to 104 across the Metroplex. And then going into Wednesday afternoon, even hotter for us. The dew point's probably going to be a bit higher. We'll see temperatures feeling like the mid-90s by noon, and then possibly 106 to 107 in parts of the Metroplex and parts of North Texas. So dangerous heat on the way. Please keep that in mind. Limit your outdoor activity. Stay inside in the air conditioning if you can, and definitely hydrate. The reason we warm up, area of high pressure continue to build its way in from the Gulf, sitting right overhead going into Wednesday. And then what happens with this, as it drifts its way around Wednesday and Thursday, see how it starts to shift its way a little further off towards the west into the northwest. That puts us more in a northerly to northeasterly flow, and that brings our dew point down, and that means lower humidity for the 4th of July weekend. So looking ahead at the extended forecast, our rain chances, storms may be out to the west going into tomorrow night again. And then as we take a look ahead, we're going to be seeing uh, the 4th of July weekend for us. I got to move that graphic over one time for you, but you definitely can see it's going to cool down a little bit going into the weekend and small rain chances on the way, Ken. All right, Scott, thank you very much. We appreciate it.